Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the Compounding Lab. Look, we've put out our newsletter this week, and can I say thank you? We had such a wonderful response, and it was a simple newsletter on treating elevated cholesterol and a good action plan. Now, I want to start with the basics here. If you're seeing your cholesterol coming up, this is a symptom, it's not a disease. So I want to cover the six most probable reasons why your cholesterol might be coming up, give you a clear action plan how to treat it, and you can ring us or call us any time or email in. Okay, let's look at the six most probable reasons. The number one is um, metabolic dysregulation or your sugars and your insulin aren't working together. So let's look at some simple dietary strategies there. I want you to think, if you can't catch it, grow it or pick it, you don't eat it. Most processed food will have a sugar and a fat attached. They don't exist in the real world. So what are these food groups? These are like your cheeses, your dairy-based products, your yogurts, your ice cream, and your chocolate. Now we've just had Easter girls, it's gone, chocolate's gone. So that's the first thing. We wanna check and see what your insulin and sugars are doing to see if that's pushing your cholesterol up. The next one, how about your thyroid function? Do you know back in the 80s, we used to treat elevated cholesterol with thyroid hormones? Now we don't do that anymore, but latent or underlying low thyroid is a real issue for cholesterol coming up. Let's check it and see if it's okay. The number third is a gastric or gut impermeability, or maybe let's just call it a leaky gut. How do I know if you've got a leaky gut? Let's test it, okay? If you do, I'm definitely gonna sort it out and give you a good gut guide. Okay, number four, heavy metals. You know my passion about you know too many plastics in the world and it just, it's a hormone dysregulator? Well guess what? Heavy metals is also a dysregulator of your cholesterol because your liver has to be able to deal with them and remove them. Let's check them. There's a wonderful device we have here called an oligoscan. It's a non-invasive biopsy. It tells us what your minerals and heavy metals are doing. Please check them. You can do a urine test if they're simply just checked. Okay, what's number five? We spoke about uh, environmental toxins. We spoke about chronic infections and I want to bring that up because what I'm seeing every day is this day and age we have a lot of viruses out there. We've been exposed to EBV which is glandular, Ross River, herpes viruses but even bacteria, Helicobacter, Chlamydia. Now these viruses and bacteria they're infections but they have long-term consequences on our immune system and our liver function. Okay if 80% of your cholesterol is made in your liver and you've got a virus that's niggling away at your liver your cholesterol is going to come up. Okay, what's the last one? Now this is the most least common. This is the genetic factor. Let's do your LDLP. This is your particle size, okay? If you've got a genetic predisposition to elevated cholesterol or LDL, bad LDL, let's check it. And if it's a genetic condition, we can treat it appropriately. Let's get that simple action plan. We're going to check your gut. We're going to make sure you've got no heavy metals, fix any nutrient deficiencies, that's especially to do with the thyroid, so we're gonna check your thyroid. And the lucky last one is what are my three tips for today? Okay, if you walked in today and you had high cholesterol, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna make sure you do a poo every day. I'm gonna make sure you've got good fiber. We used to do a great product in the market called cholestyramine. It still works. It's a fiber. Think how much fiber you're getting. Number two, I love B5, okay? It lowers cholesterol, it's also used. What else? Vitamin E derivatives, tocotrienols. You know, vitamin E comes collectively of eight different um, groups. Your tocotrienols, they have proven to reduce cancer, they are proven to reduce cholesterol. You know, there's now a new study looking at a statin and tocotrienols together. So, you know, I'm not a lover of statins, but tocotrienols are wonderful. And the last one is curcumin. You know, everyone knows turmeric, it's from the ginger family. It's a fantastic anti-inflammatory. If your body's inflamed and your cholesterol's coming up, go to curcumin, it works beautifully. We do a liposomal product, you can get it in a capsule, get onto it. Okay, happy post-Easter, chocolate's gone. Thanks very much, read my blog.